guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain's episode 10 of season 2 of Kaguya Sama. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> oh, you poor baby. <laughs> of course. But she does. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay, you might have a, a interesting rebellious <laughs> teenager phase. <laughs> okay. I'm busy. Ma! Ma! Yes. Love you. Love you too. Yeah, that's a rebellious teenage phase. I know that. <laughs> Dang them. <laughs> oh, you know, come on, Charlotte. You gotta share with your sister. Hmm? Your dad? Mm -hmm. 
please don't say that again. It's a girl thing. baby stuff. <laughs> Are we supposed to see the stuff about Ishigami and his cheerleading? <laughs> Really, that is not dancing. I mean, you're supposed to go with the beat. <laughs> oh, God. Shirogane is like that one person where, you know, when you're on beat clapping, he is like. <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> That could have been like an Easter egg to welcome to the ballroom right there. <laughs> oh my god, Tika!
Oh, of course she is. Look at them eyes. <laughs> That's some Lala eyes. <laughs> no. I feel like we're going into the TV world. This is persona. Now Miko comes in. Well, maybe her, you know, his side of the story could have been the truth.
Can you really find my opening? Yeah, I think he's really honestly serious about this. Tammy, I'm making me attracted to Ishigami. <laughs> well, I think I've always been attracted to him. <laughs> it's so too soon. Uh. <laughs> 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 of course he did. Go over there. Just stay over there. Don't come back. Mm -hmm. God damn it, out of all the places for them to meet. Or you go regret some words, Kaguya. His parent is right in front of him. Oh, 
original guy. Oh, the girl, yeah. Hmm. But still, that was a nice episode. Really, really good. <laughs> I'm freaking. <laughs> Sarah got me in his dancing. I kind of figured there was going to be one day where we we're going to have dancing be a part of the episode, and yes, Sarah got was not going to be. <laughs> I just didn't think it was going to come so soon. I was guessing, like, maybe either 11 or 12, but... Boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was fucking hilarious. I mean, oh. I mean, that's worse than him singing. I mean, you know, dancing is all about finding that beat. And like I said, if everyone's on beat like like this, <laughs> Cheryl got it. He's like, he's like so proud. It reminds me of when I went to a my competition for chorus, and like one of my friends' groups was all like. And I was like, oh my god, they're so off beat. Oh my god, like, how can you be off beat? Like, oh my god. But it's so fucking hilarious. I mean, <laughs> I'm glad we got to learn a little bit more about Ishigami's past because, I mean, between him and Miko, um, they're the only two. Well, a little bit of Chica because Chica, she's gotten, she's still a well developed character, but I feel like there's still some little thing that we don't know about her and same thing with the other two because i mean to me in my opinion and i don't know if everybody can you know agree on this i feel like both kaguya and shirogane are well developed that we know literally almost like everything about them even though there could be maybe like one or two little teeny tiny things that we don't really know about them but for miko ishigami and chika even though Ishigami and Chika have been in season one and this season, and Miko is just coming into this season for the first time, it just feels like I maybe know personality-wise, and then almost everything about them, like 50%, maybe. I feel like still, especially more with Ishigami and Miko, not as much with Chika, um, there's still more to the story. And maybe, like, with two episodes left, I don't know what you could do with these two, unless... Blah, 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 Unless the show got a season three to make them more well developed, like the other two, and also with Chica, because I mean, Chica is also a well developed character, but like I said, she still has a little more things that I would like to know about. Hell, I would like to know where the freak, you know, her what her parents do. I mean, even though we got to see her dad today, but I mean, still, it's nice to just know about their families because, I, I mean, like Ishigami's family, we know a little bit about Miko's family because of, you know, her introduction episode, but still. You know how you want to see, like, their families, like, in work or whatever they're doing. Like, you know how some people get excited about that? I mean, I would be a little excited. Like, hey, what does your parent do for work? Can we just have an episode where we just go hang out with your parents or some shit like that? Just for a day? Do, like, a freaking assignment where, you know, you gotta find something about someone who you don't know. I mean, that's interesting. It was nice to have, um, Shirogane's dad in this episode again. I mean, you know, it's been, like, a couple episodes since we've seen him. I mean... I still don't know what to say about him, <laughs> in my opinion, but 
the misunderstandings of this episode. It was nice. Also to have, you know, his dad and coming to talk. I mean, mm, that's the daughter, father-in-law-ish right there in the future. I mean, mm, it's going to be so good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of season 2 of Kaguya-sama. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 11. Bye, guys.